everybody and welcome back to the channel my name is Chris Olmy and today we're back with El Fantastico the legend of Catania football manager 2016 now in the last video a little while ago we were playing against Bologna away that was a nil nil draw and uh, not a lot happened in that game but it did keep our unbeaten run going to four games, which is quite nice at this level. Udinese, we beat 2-0 for five. Unbeaten game number six is away with a two-all draw. A couple of goals from Enrique there against Frosinone. Then we beat Roma with Alessandro Pato and Leandro Paredes, two of our more recent acquisitions. There, five minutes apart, getting us the win. And sadly, that's when the run came to an end. We got a loss, a 1-0 loss away to Verona. Not really a team I'd worried about, if I'm honest. So, yeah, that, that was disappointing, to say the least. And then a 3-2 loss at home against Torino. So, they both kind of hurt. Today's match that we're going to be seeing is the first of a real tough double header which sees us start with fourth place AC Milan away at the at the San Siro I mean you know they haven't got Mbemba they haven't got Romagnoli they got Nasri Azamoa and Monguzi out injured we've got a little bit of an advantage there I will say but we do need to play at our absolute best to get anything out of this match. Uh, we follow that up with a trip back home against Napoli. Who are currently in 7th. But Napoli are a fantastic team. We'll just take a look at their sort of um, depth here. You can see Chesney, Rafael Reina. There's three really good goalies. Albio Benatia. Uh, Federico Fernandez is there as well. Bazoa, Peruzzi, Amavi. Not a bad set of defenders. And Via Alan, Lopez, Piatti. You know, Hamsik is still there. El Ghazi, Gabbiadini. As we move forward through the uh, front line. And Insigne as well. So, that's a tough little team. But first up is AC Milan. Donnarumma is unavailable right now as you can see that might give us a little bit of hope with 36 year old Diego Lopez in goal only a sixth game of the season uh, Brie Lembolo is also injured he is their current uh, second top scorer behind Baca so maybe we just need to keep him quiet they do have a lot of other quality in this team but a lot of their big names like Nasri are out so I'm I'm fairly confident really where we are at the moment, especially with Sahin and Gajelj both out for this game as well. We might have a bit of a chance at winning that midfield battle and putting a little bit of pressure on their defence, seeing as they're missing their two starting centre backs. Um so one person to keep quiet up front, maybe we can get something going. But that's gonna be an ultra tough match. So if we jump into Serie A, we can see where we are here in the league. Decent set of results have pushed us up. Uh, last two games knocked us back down. We're still in eighth. I think that's where we were after the last video. Napoli just ahead of us. So hopefully if we can get a win over AC Milan, we can sort of leapfrog them. Sassuolo coming in last few games with a couple of good results. They're up into six. Torino top five playing out of their skins. I can't believe that well done to them Milan and Juventus their third and fourth with Fiorentina just behind Lazio who lost their first game in a little while so we're well out of the battle for the bottom we're ahead of teams like Roma Inter Udinese Palermo our local rivals and Sampdoria who are having an absolutely terrible season so I'm very happy where we are and how things are going quick look over the squad in case those of you uh, don't remember we've got some good goal tending from Nicola Lili 
Let me just fix this. I hate that it changes based on visiting another team. Oh, dear me. But, yeah. No, we are going to be missing a bunch of players here. So, no Prelay, no Rolin, no Gyomba. That's three of our starting back four. Sally's going to be missing. And Luis Enrique and Ray Menage, our two big boys up front, are not going to be there either. It does mean that Pato will be playing up front in this game. Sangali's going to get another game. I think we've got a, enough to cover. I do think we've got enough to cover. But, um, yeah, defence, I, I need to find one body for defence through the youth team. And, I mean, is it going to be Visiglia? Is that really all we have? Yeah, I think that's really all we have. Beautiful. Let's let's just pull him in there for now. Then, so yeah, that that that's gonna suck. <laughs> yeah, that is gonna suck. Okay, well, left back. Uh, let's see, Mings. Yeah, we'll have Mings guarding Vasiglia. So Milanovic, Vasiglia, Mings. He's still a one-star player. He is still a one-star player. Hopefully that holds out for us. I... Ooh, I really, really hope so. So if Kakuta and Paredes and Sangali are in midfield... That means I've got to go with... Maybe even Salifu and Polly in midfield... Wow, this is, uh, yeah, okay, so Paredes, Sangali through the middle, Kakuta out wide, Alexandra Pato, is that a good enough team? That's not bad, to be fair, that's not bad, considering we're missing here two four stars, a three and a half, two threes and a two and a half. Plus our backup goaltender as well. All the rest will be starters. Start, start, start. Yeah. All of them be starters apart from maybe Minaj who would be on the bench rotating out for Louis Enrique anyway. Could be worse. Could be worse. So unavailable. What do we got here in goal? Who deserves a chance? They're both very, very similar. Dragon Tomic looks decent. Yeah, he looks slightly better. He is the one I do remember. So, Elia. Let's go with... Him there, I guess. Nobody else really able to do much. Let's get other people on the bench. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so Putner's out injured, as is Cambridge. Jimmy Johnson will get on the bench. The rear Napoli and and Soli maybe and Salon even because we need players that can cover positions. That's a weak bench. That's a really weak bench. But that's all we've got to do with. Let me just refresh my own memory. What we've got: Nati Bishop, Taki midfielder. Abu Diallo's a striker and Van Riel is an attacking midfielder, I believe. Left wing? Yeah, left wing attacking midfield for Hugo. Abu's a striker, pacey one. Yeah, he is a pacey striker. And Nat Natty Bishop's a South African central attacking midfielder. Yeah. Okay, so not too much then. Not too much in terms of business. So, a few days before AC Milan, we'll see if 
uh, players come back from uh, internationals or not in that time, and what kind of what kind of fitness level they got. So, Venerado Apriles thanked Massimo Regli for making his Italy debut. Okay. Passionate. Congratulations. Assertive. Good account. There we go. I like a prelate. I like a prelate a lot. He came through our youth academy. He's turned into quite some player. We've had some big interest for him. Near the 20 to 30 million bid. So I'm not sure exactly how good he is. Um... But he's, he really is holding his own at this point. So, Thomas Butler, what's he got? He's got his Continental B. So, our assistant is getting better. That's what I like to see. 30 years old, he's getting better. He's already pretty good. I, I wouldn't be too disappointed if he stayed like that. But, if he can get his Continental A and his Continental Pro and his stats jump up a little bit each time, I'm going to be really happy. Let's give Minaj 45 minutes there to get his match fitness up. So we might actually have our players back. Maybe. Are those youth players are pretty, yeah. So it looks like I jumped the gun picking the team, but that's okay. AC Milan probably going to have some of their players back as well but we do know they've got a couple of injuries and a couple of suspensions which are the main the main losses here uh, okay tactical naivety away from home I don't think so I think we've been playing against big teams, tough teams. Teams that like to sit back and counter-attack. Oh, look at that Dybala with a hat-trick there as Juventus jumped to the top of the list. And Torino grabbing a decent little win over Sassuolo, pushing them up into the top four. Game in hand for the teams around them, but that means... That we could jump a match Sassuolo if we win because they just lost so a bad result for Napoli a good result for ourselves and Sassuolo having already played could see us up to sixth if things go our way all the standing in between us is a trip to the San Siro to play AC Milan so hmm not the most uh not the most confident. Yeah, look at Aprile. I mean, he's already really good, but he could be absolutely phenomenal. He could be absolutely phenomenal. So, yeah, we've got the speed on at the moment. I'll just turn that off. There we go. So hopefully I've got rid of some of the issues and cleared the caches and everything that a couple of people have told me about. So we should be able to see if this game plays any quicker now or not. I'm really hoping it does. So... Yeah, people are way too... Way too tired. Uh, let's see. Let's see, what have I got? So I'm not picking anyone that's not needed, and that's about it. So that's all I have asked my assistant to set up. So he's going with Lili, Giomba, Rolin, Mings, Uchan, and Polly, with Paredes, Pato, and Kakuta, Enrique up front. That is my strongest lineup. And he's got them in the right positions for a chain. Sometimes he likes to change them about Alexis Rolin is a little tired I'm not sure about playing Rolin Milanovic I think is actually did I move Milanovic up into the first team I don't know he's definitely fitter so we're gonna play him 
up there. I think they're going to be very, very similar no matter what. Yeah, that'll do me. That'll do me. So, Minaj up. Um, Sangali. Oh, my days. I'm just trying to get them in the correct order, but... I mean, what's the point at the end of the day? So, Rolin... Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I got my my main guys up there where I can find them. Team instructions. Let's see. Player of defense. Hit the early crosses. Retain possession. No. I do like to run at their defense. But this is AC Milan. This is AC Milan with dodgy center backs. Maybe though. I don't know. I think we're going to have to. I think we're going to have to. So, that looks good to me. Norbert is the captain for the day. And yeah, if we can keep Carlos back uh, quiet, we might be able to get something done in this game. So, Vea and Barker up front with Mkhitaryan behind. Maya, Sahin, Gadelj in midfield. Marcos, Bernard. Bernardo? Who is Bernardo? Please don't be someone very, very good. No, he's only a youngster. Good, right. Paletta, De Siglio, and Donnarumma in goals. Ooh, bit of firepower on the bench, but you know what, guys? I think that we do have what it takes. Our front four is, is frightening at some level. Good midfield too, good full backs, solid centre backs, and Lili is good enough for now in uh, in goal. So I would replace Kakuta, Milanovic, Gyomba, and Lili. Those are the four that I don't think are of high enough quality compared to the rest of the team right now. But they're major upgrades on what we've had before. This is still a long work in progress. I cannot reiterate that enough. So, everybody on a weak foot. Let's isolate the goalkeeper. That was a lot tougher than it should have been. Always closing down, but easy tackling. Let's not get anyone sent off for trying to kick the goalie. Let's go to the team talk assertively. Let's go pull off an upset. Everyone's composed. Let's try and get that defense going. Midfield. Oh, that's a nice one as well. That's a nice one. And Luis Enrique. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. So is this going to be slow? Is it going to be quick? Not too bad, I guess. But still nowhere near the speed that I want it to be. So it looks like we are going to have to uh, just come in for highlights. And there's the first one. Luis Enrique there, threw ball from Paredes, worked in off the left flank, through the middle, and he just slots it past Donnarumma in the net. That's okay. Everything going our way so far. It's not a bad start to the game. So, yeah. A free kick for them on the edge of the box. Nuri Sahin is standing over it. Mkhitaryan straight at Lili. That's what we like to see. Oh, a Louis Enrique. Oh, Louis. 
did so well, just couldn't get the ending. Opening quarter now, though, has been quite decent. It has been quite decent. So, hopefully we can keep the advantage going in our favour. And here we are at the end of this half. A prelay. Go on, Mings. Oh, I should have hit it. Sally Paredes. Enrique, oh, it rebounded off him. It rebounded off El Halil, who's only on the pitch because that young Bernardo has been injured. He should have got booked. He didn't. And, um... Oh, that was decent by them. That was decent by them. But, yeah, Luis Enrique stepped up and took out Bernardo, apparently. Was that 30 minutes into the game? There we go. That's a goal kick. And there's also a yellow card. Nuri Sahin was booked. So we go into the break 2 0 up. Nice little time to grab that second goal. And Paredes is really starting to kick on. So. Um, I'm very pleased, lads. I'm very pleased. Calm, you've got what it takes. Got what it takes. You've got what it takes. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. So, Sally was already uh, looking motivated. We're really sort of upping the morale. So, we're going from good into very good. Maybe a superb there for Captain Giomba, who did have a slight knock but played through it. Looks like he's over it now, which is why he's a little bit lower condition than the rest of the team. Enrique has been doing a lot of running up front. He grabs himself a goal and an assist for that own goal. Unlucky not to get two goals. But uh, a decent start. Let's go out into the second half and see if we can't keep taking the game to AC Milan. This could be the start of another lovely run. Oh, back off early. But look at there, Norbert, captain for the day. I'm playing like it. Let's go, Norbert. So, Marcus Alonso as well being booked for AC Milan. And Nuri Sahin may be injured here as well. So, things just keep going quite well. I like this, though. Motivation from the goalkeeper and three midfielders. The striker and three out of our four defenders are looking calm and the captain is convinced the entire back four and the central midfield two are having a good game, as is Luis Enrique up front. And Paredes is absolutely running the show right now. So, things are going well for us. Let's see what they do with Sahin. Do they take him off? If so, who do they bring on? We're about to do our changes anyway. So, there we go. Meyer off for Bertolucci, and I didn't catch the second one. So, what else have they got? Uh, Bonaventura coming into midfield as well for Nuri Sahin. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. So, close down the goalie. Easy there. Um... We're going to keep up that pressure in midfield. And you know what? We're actually going to be very, very aggressive by trying to push. Oops. Let's let 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 let's let's try that again. Let's let's put everyone on their weak foot first. There we go. And yeah, I want to put some pressure on these centre-backs as well. Because I know they're not the best in the world. And we've got the front line that can really take it to them. So their left-back is on a booking. Villa is injured. And they've already done their three substitutions. You know, El Hilal has scored an own goal. I think that works in our favour quite well. So... A little bit more pressure in that range and I just feel that we could get a bit more luck out of things. So that's going to do my changes there. Up here I'm loath to take Yomber off but he has dropped. 
he has dropped. I think I can see my substitutions. Nobody's on a bucket. Nobody's injured. Nobody's in poor morale. Nobody's struggling. We're in control of this game. But Norbert there will have to come off. And I think a slightly fitter Alexis Rolin. He's not as match sharp, but he doesn't need to be right now. So we put him in the lineup, keep the sort of condition up above 70. We head off at the pass as well and move Saliuchin as well. And I think we give Mastali a game here. He's got good potential. I really want to see him. Wow, he's got more potential than I realised. I thought he was a four-star player. He's four and a half. He needs games, so it's an excellent opportunity for him to come in as well. I think against his old club. Let's just double check that. It is indeed his old club. And then Luis Enrique, he's got a goal. He got the assist on the own goal. So it's time for him to step to the side and give Ray Minaj the chance. So do we want to put Sangali in? No, Sangali hasn't got any match sharpness. So Ray Minaj up front, complete forward. Advance forward, target man, attack. Yeah, against this kind of this kind of centre backs, I guess. If I can push him up, maybe there's enough room for the rest of them to come into it. So those are gonna be my three substitutions, keeping the three most tired positions a little bit protected. Rolin is happy, he's in a positive mood. Mastali gets on well with the manager and is motivated by that talk. Same for Ray Minaj. Three good talks with the subs. We've got half an hour left. All the subs have been done. We're in control of this game. We are winning. We are fighting. We've got a chance. And Ray Minaj getting a goal. Beautiful long distance free kick from Gail Kakuta. An instant impact from Ray Minaj. Nicky's brother. Boom. 3 0 Catania. Here at the San Siro. And AC Milan are falling quickly. Oh, and El Hilaj is now booked. A prelay. Parade is back to a prelay. Nice ball to Pauli. Kakut. Oh. No. Oh, Carlos Barker can't get on target. I hate those kind of counter attacks. I really, really do. In fact, we're going to move on to control because. We're not gonna be uh we're not gonna be messing about like that. And Paulie gets booked, that's a little unfortunate. That really is a little unfortunate, but there we are. We will see and come back if any other things happen. Well we're here at the end of the match, just one minute left to be played, thirty seconds. They get a corner. Come on, keep a clean sheet, guys. And that will probably just about do it. We did move on to defensive at the end for the last five or so minutes. Um, and goodell has got a booking. Like, quarter an hour left, I believe. Ten minutes left. And then immediately got two warnings straight after. So he might be lucky he's on the pitch. Uh, just goes to show they're really fighting for it. And I felt defensive was a nice way to end, so... That is a really good set of uh, body languages coming out of this match. It's a great, great victory at the San Siro. We've had a few away day issues. We've lost two in a row. We've, we've struck back. We might have dropped to ninth because I know Napoli were playing well and a couple other people were also playing well. And we did drop at one point. But it's a great victory. Parade is fantastic. Uh, Kukuta, Milanovic, Mings. Look at a prelay. 8.9. Yes, 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 yes. Passionate. You proved them all wrong, boys. It's us against the world. And we're going to take them all on. Let's go. Let's go get an ice cream, boys. Ice cream and a walk on the beach. First donkey rides on me. Come on. More favorable visitors. Good referee. Beautiful referee. And we do drop to ninth. We dropped to ninth because Atlanta beat Sampdoria. But I don't care. That That's a great place to be in. That is a great place to be in. We're still two points behind the sixth place club. And that is Napoli, who we face next week. They got a good 3-0 win at home. 
to Palermo, who aren't a good team. We just destroyed AC Milan at their house. Come on then, Napoli. Let's be Avenue. We'll see how things go. But, um, yeah, we won't be watching that in this video. Time is ticking on. And we will not be watching that in the next video. I will be playing that game offline. So let's have a look at the schedule and pick a nice juicy fixture here. Oh, I think it's got to be Palermo, hasn't it, boys? It's got to be. It's got to be the trip away to Palermo, our rivals, which gives me Napoli, Cesena and Fiorentina to play offline. We play Palermo in the next video. And then that gives me Atlanta, Sassuolo and Lazio away from home. And then in the video after, we can round up the last game of the season at home to Kiev. And uh, things should be going quite nicely there. So let me know how you think the game's going, guys. Let me know how many changes do you think I might need to make to the team. You know, do I need a new centre-back? A Gyomba and Milanovic really going to be good enough? I mean, look at that. One, one white stat, one over 15. That's all he's got. You know, he's only got four stats at 15 and only one 16. Should we be looking for better for, for our central defenders? I mean, I'm starting to think so. Milanovic as well, you know... He's got good jumping and strength. He's decent in the air, but he's a little bit slow. And he's got not a lot else. You know, not a lot else there at all. You look at Alexis Rolin as well, 29. He's coming into his prime. There just doesn't seem to be too much there for me. There really doesn't seem to be too much there. So if you've got any suggestions, no, 2018 will come in towards the summer of 2018. Any defenders you think I should be looking at? Or, you know, should we keep these defenders? I think elsewhere the team looks good. Lili does need to be replaced in the future. But for now, I feel he's having a good season. 13 clean sheets in 30 games. You know, 6.83. I don't think there's too much reason to uh, to get rid of him. But let me know, guys where the changes are I need to do in this team any suggestions for players that I could get into this club we do have a bunch of money I've got 10 million left to spend 100 grand a week uh, we've got youngsters coming in you know all forward players though and Hugo's the only one that will go into that first team he will replace Gael Kakuta so, going forward, I'm not really looking for suggestions. I think we've got that sorted. Left back, right back are sorted. Central midfield, I think I've got three or four really good options there. So, maybe one in centre midfield. But really, the centre back, possibly goalkeeper going forward, we do need to look at. But uh, I do hope you're enjoying this save as much as me. It has been a phenomenal journey from winning Serie A CC the second in in Serie B. Can we get third in Serie A? I don't think so. I think that's a little bit out of our reach this season. But top six would be a phenomenal achievement with this club. We are really coming into a good period for this club. We've got a new stadium coming at uh, the end of next season. So a little over a year away from that. But this club has been built up. We've got money in the bank. All our debts are paid. We're transformed on and off the pitch. And really, this could be the start of something great. So let me know what changes do we need to make to get there. But uh, leave a comment as well if you have been enjoying. Or just to say hi. I do enjoy reading the comments. I try and reply to them all as well. But spread the word about the series. Get opinions from other people. The best centre-backs and young goalkeepers in the game who should I be targeting who's available at a reasonable price I cannot spend 40 to 50 million on a player we just don't have the budget for it and we're unlikely to get it next season with a new stadium etc so just let me know spread the word try and get as many sort of suggestions in as we can 
because I want to take this club all the way to Champions League and Serie A glory. And I think we're we're so close that we just need those few players. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Come back soon for when we will be playing our arch rivals Palermo away from home as the season winds down our first season back in Serie A with Catania. I've been Chris Olmi. You've been fantastic. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you back here very soon. Take care, guys. In the ball off these players. Oh, my gosh. Well, that was a goal kick, but I don't think that we actually did our 